and a financial watchdog report card now on how the provincial government here at Queen's Park is spending your money. The financial accountability officer concludes tax cuts are coming, but they're going to contribute to a multi-billion dollar gap in health and education funding. We are an economic powerhouse. The Premier in the Legislature talking about Ontario's finances today. According to the Financial Accountability Report, his government is on track to balance the budget by 2021-22. However, the report also finds his government's plan could be $5 billion short in funding programs. This is the key risk for the government's fiscal plan that the plan spending may not provide sufficient resources to meet future demand for key public services. Namely, health and education. The finance minister didn't dispute the FAO report, but said his budget can deal with it. It isn't uncommon uh, that these reports look to those challenges, and we'll address those uh, in, the, in the budget coming up and, and on an ongoing basis. The opposition, though, paints a grimmer picture. There's a $5 billion hit waiting to come at us, and it's going to mean that even though things are tough now with hallway medicine and with cuts to education. On the topic of education, the FAO found the government's plan to increase public high school classes from 22 to 28 would save $900 million. Now that the government has offered to lower the increase to 25 instead, the education minister, who's locked in a contract standoff with the high school teachers union, wouldn't say what the savings would be, even though, in theory, it would be $450 million. If you're increasing class sizes to 25 from 22, what is that saving the government? Uh, we've that always been be clear. Savings. We've always been clear that this is not driven by fiscal exercise. But, but still, you are saving money. What? How much money are you saving by well, doing we, that? Well, we're on track, in fact, to expend an additional 1.2 billion dollars this year, but and Minister, we've added more money. Saving? And we've added more money to each and every year in our budgets. But raising class sizes and capping salary increases for teachers to 1% is all about cutting costs. This is a government that needs to save money in order to give that tax cut and balance the books. And the task is even harder because it's backtracked on several policies. Autism, for example, retroactive cuts to municipalities. And today, it also backtracked partially, softening the blow to legal aid.